Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So The Walking Dead Season 9 is halfway over. The back half, the back eight episodes, will be starting in February. And you should expect to see a few new characters. It'll pretty much properly introduce the Whisperers. We, we, we've seen some of the Whisperers in the first half of the season. But I think in the second half of the season, we're really going to see Alpha, Beta, Lydia. We're, we're really going to learn a lot about the Whisperers and the threat that they pose to the characters. And for those of you that don't read the comics, Alpha, Lydia, and Beta are all major characters, and Alpha is the leader of the Whisperers, and she's she's pretty much the, the big villain. However, she kind of gets killed prematurely um, in a way. Negan, who had broken out of his jail, ends up going to the Whisperers camp and he pretends to be just a lone survivor out on his own and he pretends like he's fallen in love with Alpha and everything and <clears throat> Alpha begins to to kind of let her guard down and and they, they spend time together and Alpha starts to like Negan and then Negan kills her and decapitates her so Negan kills Alpha Negan pretty much kills the the next big villain and Beta, who is her second in command, he becomes the leader of the Whisperers, and he leads the Whisperers to fight in the Whisperer War. So, I'm wondering how much of this in the comics will be adapted in the show. I mean, we know that we're getting Alpha, Beta, so we're getting those characters, and Negan has just escaped from his cell. However, if they're following the comics, it should be a while before... Negan kills her so I don't know I don't know what what Negan's going to do once he gets out in the trailer it looks like Negan goes back to the sanctuary so just because Negan is out of his cell it doesn't mean he's going to go straight to Alpha and kill Alpha and decapitate Alpha I mean we haven't even had Alpha's introduction yet so I don't, I don't think that that Negan getting out of his cell he He's get, he might have gotten out of his cell, but I don't think he's going to kill Alpha anytime soon. Alpha could die in the back half of the season. She could get introduced, and she could die in the back half of the season. I mean, I know that's a little quick, but if they do it just right, it could work. Um, I think Alpha will make it to season 10. I think that the heads on Spikes will be the season finale, which is where Alpha and her Whisper army, they, they killed 12 characters that are in all the communities and put their heads on spikes and then after that that is when Negan pretends to be a lone survivor and he gets to know Alpha and then he kills Alpha and he decapitates Alpha and it's kind of the, the poetic because that's how the 12 characters died and then Negan brings Alpha's head back to Alexandria as a peace offering in an attempt to try to rehabilitate himself or prove his rehabilitation as he says in the comics he's trying to prove his rehabil rehabilitation and he's wanting to redeem himself and atone and it's sort of his his peace offering to, to bring her head back and say hey the leader of the whispers is dead I got close to her and I killed her so are they going to do the same thing in the show like I said I think that the heads on spikes will happen first so it has to be well I think the heads on spikes will be the the season finale so in the next eight episodes we're going we're going to get the introduction of Alpha and then the season finale is going to be after she and, and the whispers put 12 characters heads on spikes and then in season 10 I'd say in the first half of season 10 that is going to be when we can have Negan go up to Alpha and, and his plan will work out and everything and then he kills her, he brings her head back, that initiates the Whisperer War that Beta leads in the second half. So I think that Alpha will die in the first half of season 10 and as far as whether I think it'll it'll play out like the comics with, with Negan getting close to the Whisperers and then killing Alpha and bringing her head back, I don't see why not. I mean it's, it's a cool moment in the comics, I, I think they're setting it up. Negan is a character that they've really consistently, they've really followed a lot of his material in the comics. His his basic storyline is straight from the comics, panel to panel. A lot of his dialogue, a lot of his personality. You know, Rick slicing his neck, then locking him up instead of killing him. 
a lot of stuff with Negan, him killing Glenn, him killing Spencer, him getting slapped by Olivia, then laughing it off and saying he's even more attracted to her, him showing Carl around the sanctuary. A lot of Negan has always just been ripped straight from the comics and put in the, into the TV show, more so than really any other character, even Rick. Negan is really the most closely adapted character from the comics to the TV show. So yeah, um, at the at the rate they're going, they're they're going to have him trick the whispers and, and have him get close to them and have him decapitate Alpha when she lets her guard down. It's a it's a cool moment. I'd like to see the moment. I'd like to see that moment done with Jeffrey Dean Morgan and the actress that plays Alpha, um, Samantha Morton. That's her name. I know she's really talented. I I want to see that moment between Samantha Morton and Jeffrey Dean Morgan where, where they get to know each other and, and maybe she starts to like Negan and he calls her up on her bullshit and, 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 and Negan talks about how he, after he lost his wife he doesn't feel anything. He's just kind of this cold shell and that's what makes him strong and that's what makes him a survivor but Alpha just has everything ass backwards and she's a hypocrite and Alpha gets emotional and, and she really starts to like Negan and trust Negan and that's when he kills her, and I really want to see all of that between the two actors. They're both very capable actors. We've seen over and over again that Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I mean, some of the comic dialogue, I don't I don't think it, it quite belongs in the show, but I don't think that's really his fault. Um, I mean, when he brings it, he brings it, and I want to see that moment between them. I want to see Negan kill Alpha, so... I hope that they they fo they follow it. I think most likely it'll happen. It'll play out just like the comics, and it'll end with Negan decapitating Alpha. And this will happen in the first half of season ten. And the back half of season ten should cover most of the Whisperer War. So that's what I think will happen. Um, and it, I, I guess it does kind of give Alpha a short lifespan, but she has a short lifespan in the comics. She's, she only lasts like, what, 20, 25 issues? Something to that effect. So, yeah, I mean, it, Alpha is simply a, a short-lived character. She uh, Does that even make sense? She's, she's, she's a character with a short lifespan, um, and th they should just follow that. I mean... I think Negan killing her makes sense, and it kind of brings Beta to the forefront, and there's really no reason to de deviate from that too much. They can just play it out the same way. Um, I mean, I like Samantha Morton from what I've seen of her. Um, I look forward to her performance as Alpha, and the uh, you know I'm going to have sympathy when she gets her comic death, but if it is what it is. She will be introduced in the back half of Season 9. We know that for sure. And... I I believe we're going to get the heads on spikes in the finale of season nine, in the first half of season ten. That's going to be when it's when at some point Negan's going to kill Alpha. So that gives Alpha it that gives Alpha a range of sixteen episodes. So that's enough time to develop her, um, you know, give her enough material, and then give her her death like the comics. So, yeah, I, I think it should just be just like the comics, or at least mostly like the comics. I mean, that's that's where I feel like Negan's story has been getting towards. I feel like they're they're setting it up. You know, they, they have Negan locked up just like the comics. He breaks out just like the comics. He's trying to redeem himself. So, yeah, I don't see why they would make it different from the comics. I do think that Negan will trick Alpha and kill her, and that will start the Whisper War. So yes, I do believe that this is this is a comic death that will play out just like it does in the comics, and it'll play out just the same way in the show. And so you know, Samantha Morton might only have lasted like 15 or 16 episodes on the show, but Alpha is just not a character that lives her very long, and it's okay. So yeah, I think it'll play out the same way, and I'm excited. I think it'll be cool to, to uh, see those actors do that and and to, to see Jeffrey Dean Morgan lie and bullshit his way and get really close to Alpha and, and you know Alpha show her softer side and then he kills her it's a really cool part and I, I want to see it get adapted so I think it'll happen I think it should happen and it will happen in the first half of season 10
Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 270 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 300 in the next few months. So we are just 30 subscribers away from 300. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated. And I am just very happy with what we've gotten so far. And hopefully we can expand and get to that goal of 300 subscribers in the near future. So yeah, that's all I have. So with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!